hi guys i don't know if you've seen this rebecca tembo dress on the internet but i saw it last week and i loved it so in today's tutorial i'll be making my own version of the structured bustier dress with plunging v neckline so don't forget to tap the subscribe button below your screen tap the like button also and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any of my tutorials when i post them so guys to make today's um dress tutorial to make today's um mini bustier kind of dress tutorial um the first thing you need is your basic dress block and what you need for your basic dress block is your clothes fitting basic dress block which is the pattern that already has this upper that on it so if you would like to learn how to draft this pattern if you don't know how to draft it and you would like to learn how to draft it i teach it in my beginner class where i teach how to draft all the foundational blocks of pattern drafting so you can always reach out to me on instagram on at myowa underscore oye if you would like to enroll so let's proceed now the next thing i'm going to do is to decide how long i want the dress to be but if you look at the inspiration that is the replica temple inspiration um you would see that it's a really really mini dress except you want yours um longer then you make it longer but the beauty of the dress is in making it um really short um that's the design naturally but you can also you can try to make it longer so it all depends on you so if you want to make it mini for me if i want to make my mini i'm going to like um measure 34 or 34 and a half inches from the top here right down so wherever that gets to that will be the length of my dress so yeah this is the length of my dress right here so now i'm going to also uh, measure my under bust so you get your under bust measurement and then you measure it from the top here down so you just look at that and so this is it this is my under bust measurement right here so right on this mark right here i'm going to on the dart leg here i'm going to measure half inch out and also half inch out also from this side then using my um french curve i'm going to reconnect this to this spot here and reconnect this to this spot here this spot here is my bust point so i'll reconnect it that way so use the curved part of your french curve to draw that and that's that so now i'm going to reconnect from here back to my waistline and reconnect this back to my waistline so yeah now let's work on the neckline so for the neckline the neckline is a kind of deep v plunging neckline so um i'm first going to locate the depth that is how deep i want the neckline to be and also i'm going to also locate the height that is how high i want the neckline to be at this spot right here so first let me uh, mark in the depth of my neckline so because the neckline is really deep you can just measure like maybe 12 inches or 10 inches from the top here except you don't want yours to be deep then you can just like reduce that so but for me i'm going to measure 10 inches or 12 inches rather so yeah this is the depth right here so now i'm going to measure how high i want the neckline so from the top here i'm just going to measure five inches so it will be at this part so yeah this is the height right here so now let's connect so we'll connect this this way so we'll connect this this way because it's a v-neck plunging deep v connect it this way then the rest bit of this here we connect it to the ample right here so i hope you got the drift so i'm just going to place my um french curve this way so yeah that's that for the neckline now everything i have here just to give it a tighter fit at the top here everything i have here i'll measure what i have from here to here then i'll now measure it from here outside so i hope you got it so yeah this is it pretty much so i'm going to connect from here back to my boss point right here so yeah that's that for that so now because this neckline here it's a um, wide neckline it's a deep neckline there's a possibility that when you are done sewing it's going to get so what i'm going to do is to draw a dart right here and then i'll connect it to my bust points here so i'll just draw a line to any point on my neckline then i'll draw i'll measure a one inch dart from here out so yeah this is it pretty much so the, that space i have here is like one inch so yeah that's that that's what that's all we have to do to this upper part we'll come back here later but before we continue before we come back here let's like work on this lower bit now at the hip line right here i'm going to increase the hip 
so this is my normal hip measurement already on my pattern but from here i'm going to increase the hip so i'm going to measure out um um, between um, two or three or four inches it all depends on you so for me I'm just going to measure out three inches you can uh, measure out more than that it depends on how wide you want the hip side to be so for me I'm going to measure um, three inches outwards so yeah this is it right here so at the hemline also this is the hemline of my dress I'm also going to extend it outwards but I'm not going to extend it by outwards by the same three inches I did I'm just going to reduce it so three inches here I can do two inches because I want it to slightly curve inwards so yeah so now let's connect so to connect I'm going to connect this to my to this part from my waist here I'm going to connect to this part here and then I'll connect back here so I hope you got the drift and this is the new shape of this side so if you look at this you see that I curved it up I didn't just like place my French curve this way and cut straight so I used the curved part of my French curve to draw this this way and then I used the curved part also to draw it this way so pretty much you can see there is an angle like right here sharp angle here so I'm just going to blend it and this is the outline of my dress right here so this way ignore this now this is the outline of my dress right here now let's come back to the upper part so i'm going to label this part my center front and then i'm going to label this my side front so you cut this one one piece unfold that is the center front and you cut the side front two pieces on fold so at this upper part here i'm going to transfer this that that i have here i'm going to transfer it here so i'm going to cut this open I'm going to cut one leg of this open and then I'm just going to cut this also open just so that I can close this one here. So yeah, this is it right here. So it's already transferred here. So you can see that the neckline is um, um, distorted. So I'm just going to reshape my neckline. So pretty much this is my new neckline right here so um that's that so before we um continue and we cut this out i'm just going to draw in the shape of my strap so that i can write it down so once i draw the um draw in my um, straps i'll write i'll measure it and write it down somewhere just so i can get the accurate measurements of strap i'll be needing for my dress so from here to here will be the length of my strap so i'm just going to measure it from here to here and write it down somewhere so i'll be using that later so now we can just cut all of this out now so you just cut your center front along this line then you follow this line i hope you can still see it yeah this is it so you follow this line and then it comes this way this way this way out and then your side front you cut it along this follow this this way this way you come this way and then you follow this line this way and then out so yeah that's that i'm just going to do all of that now and then we'll move on to the rest so yeah this is it cut out so this is my center front this is my side front so i already added a one inch allowance to the side here so remember to also before you cut this on your fabric you add the half inch allowance to the middle here half inch also right here so that's that pretty much this guy this part here is just like a borderline so you can either cut it off and or you fold it so i'm just actually going to fold it so that's that so now let's work on the back pattern so now to work on the back pattern um you also need to get your basic dress block and this is mine right here now everything you did for the front everything we did for the front in the sense of the length of the dress and also um, lengthening the um, hip line and also um, widening the hemline also you do this exact same thing with the same measurements on the back and this is it i've done that right here so you can see that so now um the only thing slightly different is the neckline so um we have to draw a separate type of neckline for this part but before we do that i'm going to come right to the across back level here this is my across back level so on my dart line here i'm going to measure out half inch outwards half inch outwards here then i'm going to connect this to my dart leg here and connect this to my dart leg here with a straight line and that's that so at the zip line also right here to give the zip a 
tighter and more um, flat fit so i'm going to come right at the zip line here i'm going to measure half inch out then i'm going to reconnect upwards and reconnect it downwards to my upper hip level so yeah that's that right here so now let's draw in the shape of our neckline so for the neckline um you have to decide how deep you want your back neckline to be and for me i'm just going to measure one inch down from my ample level so this is my ample level i'm going to measure one inch down you can go deeper than that it depends on how deep you want your back neckline to be so i'm going to measure um one inch or half inch down so yeah i settled for half inch down from my ample level so now i'm going to reconnect this back to my ample red yeah so yeah that's that so i'm now going to draw in my strap that is the back strap just like i did for the front so i'll just draw in just so that i, I can get my the accurate measurement of my strap so i'll measure i'll draw in the strap here and then i'll measure it whatever i get i'll write it down somewhere just like i did for the front so yeah this is my back strap right here so i'm just going to measure what i have from here to here and then i'll write it down somewhere so we'll be using it later so that's that for um everything we have to do to our back pattern so now i'm just going to label it so i'm going to label this my center back and then i'm going to label this my side back then i'm going to cut um two pieces for the center back and also two pieces for the side back to cut this out i'm going to start cutting my center back from here follow this line this way and then i come here follow this 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 all the way down and then for my side back i also follow the dark line here follow this here come here 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 and outward so yeah that's that so remember to add your allowances before cutting on your fabric one inch for the side at the middle part once you cut it you have to add the half inch allowance neckline quarter inch quarter inch half inch allowance also so that's that i'm going to do all of that now and show you the um, final look of the pattern so yeah this is my cut out back pattern right here so i already added my one inch allowance to the side here so when i'm cutting on my fabric i'll cut i'll add half inch here half inch here so yeah that's that so now i'm just going to go ahead to cut this on my fabric now and then i'll just give you um some little um instruction on how to sew it and put it all together so yeah these are my cut out um pieces so please note that when you're cutting this um, fabric or when you're cutting this dress you need to use a thick fabric if you use a light or soft fabric it will not give that structure that structure if you look at the dress you see that it's very very structured so it will not give that structure um that you can see on the dress so here i'm using like a damask fabric and it's really thick so you can the one they used in the picture i think it's a micado or micado satin so if you have that it's quite expensive too so if you have that you can use that if you want to make yours so yeah that's that so now i'm just going to move straight ahead to um sewing this this is my this is my center front right here so and this is my side front right here so i'm going to be sewing this to this at this side and then sewing this to this also at this side so i hope you got the drift so by half inch you sew by half inch here here and then you do the same also for the side back i didn't cut a lining for this because it's just for my miniature but when you are cutting yours you know you have to cut a lining so you cut your lining exactly the same way we have here so that's that i'm going to join all of this and also join the one for the back so that you can see so yeah this is it soon this is my front this is my back you can see the bust area of my front right here so yeah this is the back this is the part we'll be attaching our zipper in the middle right here so let me just keep this aside so for the front look at this this is the wrong side so you open the seams up here and then you iron it flat and then you do the same also here so so what you need to do again is to fix a boning into this so once you iron the seams here flat you can then sew on your boning onto this so please mind you um please note that um when you are sewing this you need to sew the boning on the lining instead of on the actual dress because this is an illustration that is why i'm just showing you like this so you just sew the boning in onto this so you do this on the lining not on the actual fabric please so yeah and then you do the same also for the back piece too you iron the seams flat and then you fix your boning to this 
to the middle so not on the actual fabric but on the lining so yeah so once you are done attaching the boning then you need to fix your strap so this is my strap remember the measurements i asked you to write down earlier for the front and for the back so you just add those two measurements together front strap add it to back strap whatever you get is going to be the full length of your strap so you add your um strap right here and then once you add it this way then you place your lining over it so you place your lining over it and then you sew down so by the time you are done sewing it's going to fall this way and once you are done doing that then you do the same also for the back you place this also to the back and then you sew down so yeah once you are done doing that then you place both the front and back pieces together right sides together and then you sew one inch at the side and also one inch at the other side so i'm just going to do all of that now and then i'll show you the next so yeah this is what your dress would um look like so you can see the hip line here so and this is my strap already attached so let me just turn this inside out so that you can see so now at the side here you know pretty much we have to add attach our zipper to the center of our back right here but before we do that just come to the side right here and iron it flat so you iron it flat then you are going to attach a boning again into this just to give it more structure so you once you iron this flat then you attach your boning you attach your boning to the middle here 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 so i hope you got the drift so once you attach it here you attach it also to this side also here just to give the dress more structure so yeah that's that so you know you cut a lining for you so i already explained earlier that your boning has to be on your lining just to hide everything so that you don't have seams in front of your dress here so i'm just going to do all of that now and then close up the dress here then you can see what the final fit is going to look like so yeah this right here is my completed dress right here so look at the structure I already fixed in the boning so this so you can see the boning inside here so yeah that's that this is the back you attach your zipper to the back and all so pretty much so i'm just going to put this on my miniature mannequin now just so that you can see the full fit and how the structure is going to stand don't forget to tap the subscribe button below your screen tap the like button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss my upcoming tutorials when i post them i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>